Hello, everybody. Welcome back to VC's Craft World. So um, today I was out and about like I do on Tuesdays um, and was just shopping, looking for um, just some different things, different basket ideas. Um, so I saw a video the other day. Um, it was late night, um, but it was a, a crafter and um, she actually said that these little bags were like number one sellers um, at her vending event. Um, I think it was a Christmas craft show or whatever. Um, and if I think of her name, I'm gonna definitely pin it in the comments below. But I figured, okay, I'll go out today, do a little shopping and see if I can find some of the same items. Well, I'll show you first. So. Um, I ended up going to Hobby Lobby and I found, you know, everything Christmas is 50% off. So I found these little kits and this is, um, Christmas crafts for kids. So $1.99, it's a Santa kit and of course 50% off. So I'm like, that's a no brainer. So there's two of the little, I opened one already. There's two of the little Santas. This goes on the bottom to make them stand, but there's two of the Santas inside. So if you want, you can do two baskets, or not two baskets, but two bags. Um, the only thing is you'll have to buy another marker set because I just feel like I didn't want to, you can if you want, but for me, if I'm gonna sell this for like five, six dollars, I kind of want to make it worth um, the kids while I want them to be able to have more than two markers, you know, for Santa um, coloring. So that's why I said, I'll just probably end up putting the two in one or either I'll just leave one out and then go buy another set of little tiny uh, mini markers or see if I can find them online. Um, but you definitely can split it up. So I think I would just do this. Um, put one in there along with some little snacks that came from Dollar Tree, a sucker, and some hot chocolate packet. Now, I will say this. The sky is the limit when it comes to these um, little craft sets because um, you can put more candy in it. You can put gummies. You can put um, a juice box. You can put um, a little, you know, the little milks that they sell at Dollar Tree. You can put anything, a little bottle of water, the little mini waters. You can put that. So like when they're walking around at the craft show, the kids have a snack. And then they also will have something to drink. But for me, I saw the little cocoa packs and I'm like, oh, that would be cute. So um, I got th a couple of different kinds of sets. So this other one, they had a little acti activity pad and this was um, by itself. So I want to say these were, oh, right here. These were, can you see it? $1.99, 50% off. So you can't beat it. I'm gonna have to put a sticker over that to cover it, but you couldn't beat it. So then of course with that, I'm gonna have the little um, Teddy Grahams or you know Dollar Tree Teddy Grahams. And then, or you can put a pack of chocolate chip cookies from Dollar Tree. They had the crayons. Um, it, you, so you get four in a pack. But there was a pack of these. Uh, I don't remember how many was in the pack. I wanna say maybe eight um, was in a pack. May eight to 10. So they'll have the crayons, the activity book, the Teddy Grahams, a sucker, and the hot cocoa. Um, again, you can put a water, a juice box, whatever you want in these, but I thought, these would be cute to sell like a grab and go bag activity set for the kids, the little kids, the toddlers. Um, and so here's a couple that I've already packaged up. 
So what I did, I ended up picking up from Hobby Lobby this scrap paper in a book. So of course this was 50% off as well. That was uh, $11.99 of course, so it was like $6. Um, but I just put the craft paper in the back and then I just kind of put the, this is the one with the activity pad. So I put that in there. You have the crayons here, the hot cocoa, the little um, Teddy Grahams, and then the um, sucker. And then I just put the little ribbon on top. Kids do not care about ribbons. So I didn't use my fancy schmancy ribbon. Um, what I wanted to do for this, but then I'm like, I was going to, these are wooden little name tags. And I was gonna put like for you or thank you on it. But then I'm like, no, I think what I'm gonna do is just buy the paper ones and then put them on here um, and let it have, you know, buy the ones with like a Santa Claus, a reindeer, gingerbread man, something on the front and then kind of let that hang down. But again, with this, the sky's the limit. You can go, you can do whatever you want with this. Um, you can put a big bow, um, you can put twine, it, whatever you choose to put on it and make it just, you know, something cute and friendly. And these bags will be like five, six dollars. Of course, you know, if you want to sell them for more, you can do so. I would probably, um, so these are the first ones that I'm putting in here. If you even want to put like a little, and not wrap them in the plastic, if you wanna get like a little plastic kitty cup where, with a lid so they can, you know, just get some water and use the hot cocoa while they're there, that would work. I mean, just whatever you choose to do, you can do that with these little bags. But I just thought, okay, I'm gonna come on, grab a couple things, put it, you can put chips in here, just whatever, whatever. You can, I mean, I can go on and on. So I've already made up two of these bags. So then we'll go on and make one up on camera. But before I do that, I just wanna stop and say, so I went to a different Dollar Tree that I normally don't uh, go to or visit or shop, whatever. So I'm walking around and look what I stumbled across. These are Harry and David K cups in Dollar Tree. So you get four in a pack. So I just wanted to show you guys, but I'm gonna come back with a video this week, later this week, um, putting these in a mug, whatever, but you can't beat it. Four K cups for $1.25, Harry and David. It's a no brainer. Um, but I was excited because I, of course, I had the regular packet of coffee, um, you know, for Harry and David, but the K cups, this works, this works, I love it. So again, more coffee mug gift ideas, inexpensive Dollar Tree, coming your way, coming soon. So um, as far as the plastic that I'm using, I'm just using my, um, my cellophane wrap. Um, you can have bags, the ladies video that I saw, she had um, the bags, the small bags, which would probably work out better. Um, but I'm using what I had on hand, so that's why I use the silicone bag. I mean, it to me, it works just the same. I'm using the products that I have, keep costs down, why not? So, but let's go ahead and put one together. So, let's see. And I did get other um, activity sets. I will show you because there were some, I mean, they had, it, you can even do this set, not of course, these, but they had other things. I had Hobby Lobby was just, I was in there for over an hour, but that's not a big thing. They even had these. So I picked up everything that was a dollar um, today because you can, like I said, you can make up so many different activity sets with these and you can't beat it. So you get the, and even this, this has two of the little plastic pieces and you have the little paint. Does it give you a paintbrush? 
I think it does. Mm, I don't see a paintbrush in here. I don't know, but I was trying to see if I saw a paintbrush on here. I don't see it. But I mean, it even tells you the age five and up on here. Um, but if I need to go get some little inexpensive paintbrushes, I think Dollar Tree has like three or four paintbrushes in a little packet for like $1.25. So if I need to go get more than I can. If I wanted to break these up again and do one of the little plastic pieces, and what I can totally do that because I did see um, Hobby Lobby had the bigger paint um, sets. It was just the paint by itself. So, you know, that's an idea. And you can even also, ah, so, the, okay, so you can even also, and I might do that in another video this week. You can put this, one of these, and you can even put a canvas. Like, you know how the Dollar Tree has the little small canvases with the paint and a paintbrush with some snacks and candy. Um, I even thought, okay, this would be cool for like a tween or in between, you can get. Um, so I was only able to find, I found these two pair, of course, it was 325 for the um, two pack of fuzzy socks. So I will do a tween um, little bag just like that. I will put one pair of socks each in the little plastic bag. I purchased these pens. Now these pens were $2, so it was $3.99 and then of course half off. So I will put a pen and then, um, or you can put a pencil, the little gingerbread pencil. The pencils were, let's see, $3, so they were $1.50. So you can even put a pencil, a pair of socks, some snacks, um, even if you wanna do for the older girls. I purchased, what else? I got these pens. Girls like, you know, ow. girls like little things like this, these kind of pens. And then I picked up, I know I picked up the other pens as well. Oh yeah. So I also picked up these pens and they were, let's see, $1.25. So these are cute. They look like a ruler, but I picked these up because I'm like, these will go nice for a teenager. Um, get this with one of the little notebooks from Dollar Tree, put it in the bag with some snacks, maybe chips, Doritos, whatever, um, and a drink. I mean, the sky, like I said, is the limit. You can put it, the fuzzy socks, a pen, a notebook, um, like a journal, and, or either one of these pens would work, a candy cane, some cocoa, and there you go. I just wanted to come on and show you guys, like, these are inexpensive Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree mixed items that you can put together. Um, the the items from Hobby Lobby that were a dollar, you can't get that at Dollar Tree, but you mix it with a couple of snacks. So like these Teddy Grahams, or I keep saying Teddy Grahams, but they're Bear Grahams from Dollar Tree. I don't know, I think it's, I don't know, six to eight a pack or whatever. For a dollar 25, you, you divide those up between your bags. Same things for these chocolate chip cookies. You divide it up. These might come the same, eight, eight or six um, to a pack for $1.25, divide them up. Um, the suckers, this, so the suckers weren't the best deal, but they came from Dollar Tree as well. But it, I, I think it was like maybe eight in a pack. I mean, so I guess it's the same. Um, it might've been eight or six, six or eight in a pack. The cocoa, the Swiss Miss, this came in a pack and these were eight in a pack for $1.25, you divvy it up. You can even put like for the tweens, you can, they had cute little mugs, like not mugs, but cute little um, cups with lids. 
So you can put the cocoa in there with the socks and the da 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 da. Like it, the list goes on. It goes on. Just let your imagination run wild. But again, I feel like I'm ranting, but I just thought that these were some cool, cool gifts. And I've passed these so many times while in Hobby Lobby shopping, um, but never thought, oh, I can make some little activity grab bags for kids for five, six dollars and they would sell. You can put stickers in here. Um, I thought I did buy stickers, but I don't know. I had so much stuff in my bag. Um, I just grabbed out these sets and the pieces that I know. But um, again, you could put stickers in here. Kids like stuff like that. Whatever to make it kid friendly. But let's go ahead and hurry up and put one together. I'll show you how I did it. It's super simple. I'll come back on with the tween ones and the fuzzy socks. I need to find more fuzzy socks. If I can find at least two or three more packs of these, yeah, I'm winning. All right, so let's see. So I'll do one, I'll grab that. So I'll do one of these, the cocoa, So I just take a scrapbook paper out of the book. I do not use the whole thing. I do cut it down. So for this first one, I'm just gonna put both in there until I find more. I can always go back to Hobby Lobby, but I'm getting these items because again, I have my, um, event coming up in the next couple weeks beginning of november and i just want to be prepared i want to have a variety of things for everyone and as long as i have these items even if i want to attach a small little balloon um for the little kiddos and then anything to grab their attention to get them over to my table i know once they come over to the table it's a wrap they're going to ask their parents like all kids do so I even found, um, like I was just shopping, shopping, shopping in Hobby Lobby today. I'm gonna cut the side down as well. So I'm not throwing away these pieces, scrap pieces that I'm cutting off. I'm saving them because I'm sure I'll, I can use them for something else. So just putting them to the side. Hold on, I'm sorry. You can't even see what I'm doing. So, I have my little wooden guy here. I have my marker set here. So I just taped, because it's just the paper. So I taped my marker set to the paper. I don't wanna cover Santa's face. And then I'll tape the hot chocolate to the markers. And then Sorry. Then I'll tape. And then I just put the sucker behind it. You can put gummies in here. I mean, the list, the list goes on and on. So I will do a couple different ones. I'm not gonna, I have these laid out, but I'm not gonna put these together tonight because I wanna go back and get more stuff. So I wanna go get a box of gummies to put in here. Um, and let's see, 
I don't know, whatever I think of when I get there or whatever I see that stands out. So then I just cut a piece of my paper. Yes, of course, a bag would be much easier, but I have this paper right here on hand and I'm gonna make it work for me. So then I just put this inside. And even if I decide to add something else, I can add it to the outside around the ribbon. I can add more string and just add it to the outside. That way, for me, I mean, I will feel justified in charging the $6 for it. So I just make sure I line it with the crease that's down here, kind of tuck my sides in. And then I fold it over. And you don't need a lot of tape. that and then I'll cut this and then I just want to make sure that I'm able to pull in without I try not to have the my paper um the sides like um tucked in if i could help it so i don't pull it as tight And then, so I'll just gather it like this to tuck it in. Let me grab my string. So I was just using the red and the green. Not too long of a piece, but long enough where I can tie it in a little bow. So as I'm pulling it tighter, I'm just making sure that my sides and I don't pull it so tight at the top and I just tie it in a bow and that's it. And then I may cut off the top. And there you have it. Just something cute, simple for the kids. An activity set. There you have it. Like I said, if I decide, and I didn't put anything on it because if I decide to add something to it, then I can just use my hole punch, either tie another piece of string or just untie this, add it on there. And then whether it be, I don't know, it could be, I don't know, like I said, another snack and I can use my hole punch or it could be, um, I don't know, I'm um cookie cutter like the plastic ones like whatever but i think i will get like something else to put on the top i'll see what it is 
but I think this turned out super cute. Even if I wanted to sell it the way that it is, I think maybe four or five dollars, but um, I definitely know that it will sell just for that. Um, but, and if I wanted to sell it for six, then I could either add a drink or another snack or so. So that is it for this video. I just wanted to come on and show you guys that, you know, Dollar Tree items combined with Hobby Lobby, um, you can definitely win in this gift giving season. Oh, you can also use it, if not for a craft show, you can also use it for a classroom gift, um, you know, for your child's friends in school. You can totally use this for a gift like that um, or in church, um, you know, Sunday school, whatever. You can definitely use these items, these little gifts that are inexpensive, but yet cute, simple to put together and be done with it. All right. Thanks again for watching my video. Thanks for giving me your time. And please be sure to comment, share, and subscribe. And I will be back with another video, especially that tween video with the fuzzy socks. So stay tuned.